Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. I'm Brian Anderson, here with Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. It's the Los Angeles Clippers taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. So the opening lineup here for the Clippers. Pass to Zerbiak. No good on the triple. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. It's no secret that Kawhi has focused on improving his passing. Great look there. Knocked loose. Here's Garnett. Pass to Zerbiak. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul. First team foul. Here's Cassell. And he parries his first look. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here's McAdoo. Back to Paul. Shot clock at five. Let's it go from deep. He drops it from range. What focus on the range shot by Chris. Not letting anything throw him off. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Here's Cassell. Uses the glass on the layup. And defensively, you have to make him work harder than this or it's going to be a long night. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Leonard, right side. Pass to Brand. Love against Griffin. Here's Leonard. Fires the three. McAdoo buries it down low. And this is right in his wheelhouse. Hitting the boards and cashing in. When he gets a few of those early, look how it gets his blood pumping, and suddenly there's nobody who can hold him. And the Timberwolves with possession here, following the score by the Clippers. Pass to Cassell. Fires the three. He's off on that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Leonard outside. Launches it. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Here's Zerbiak. Pass to Cassell. Here's Zerbiak. The three. That shot missing. Here's McAdoo. Now Paul, Leonard outside. Back to Paul. He shoots a three. Brand misses. The Timberwolves trail. Pass to Cassell. Love with the ball. Shoots over Paul. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Kevin Love can be your number one option, or he can facilitate. He'll do whatever you need him to do. Paul for three. Can't get it to drop. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Here's Cassell. Right side, Love. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The versatile skill set of love. The defender has no idea which move he's going to. Kevin Love at the line for two. And 
and it's tied up with that one. One of the many impressive things about Kevin Love, the way he's reshaped his body since entering the league. as the free throw drops in for him. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Screen by Griffin. Leonard outside. Releases. They get it again. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Hustle points count just like any others. That's a great play. There's a screen. Here's Cassell. Buries it from three. He's got seven. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Leonard. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Creative at finding ways to draw fouls. Leonard takes pleasure in getting them to overcompensate. Shooting for the lane. Kawhi Leonard taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Leonard. Well, Kawhi has always been an elite defender, but he's become just as fearsome on the offensive end. You can tell he never stops working on his game. Good on both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Here's Zerbiak. They set the pick from outside the arc. Drains the triple. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Leonard outside. And the Clippers miss again. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Pass to Zerbiak. Three-pointer. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Here's a three from Paul. Love grabs the miss. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Let's it fly. Zerbiak's shot is off. It could be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Back to Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. I saw that one in Griffin's eyes. He was ready to throw that one down. Here's Zerbiak. Six points for him. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Harper, he's checked in for the Clippers. On defense, the Clippers. Trailing by four. Here's Cassell. And no good. And Los Angeles the other way now. Pass to Harper. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Here's Zerbiak. From 10 feet away. Trained it for two points. He's got nine. And so here are the Clippers. Four-point game. Pass to Harper. Let's the three fly. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Love's got four rebounds in the game. 
Here's Garnett. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Throws it up high. It's stolen by Love. Here's Cassell. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Here's a three from Paul. Gets the three ball to go. Paul's got six. When CP3 pulls up off the dribble, he's a high percentage shooter. He really looks in rhythm. Here's Cassell. And give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. The Clippers trail. Outside Paul. Pass to Brand. Out to the wing. Here's McAdoo. Just five on the clock. Paul from deep three-point land. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Even on CP3's deep shot, as soon as he crosses half court, you have to get a hand up on him. Here's Love. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Pass to Paul. And here's Griffin. That shot off. Love with the defensive effort. Here's Garnett. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Here's Harper. Griffin in the post. Covered by Love. Griffin's shot is off. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Here's Cassell. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Minnesota. For me, it's all about playing downhill. They've been making it look easy to find penetration in this one. Attacking the lanes and forcing the issue with the D. And the other thing you notice is how determined they've been to get into the paint and get buckets around the rim. First one falls for him. So both teams changing it up here. And he makes both free throws. Here's free. And there's the screen. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. At the line for two. Shooting two. The first one falls, and the Timberwolves making a change here. one goes in. Two from the line that time. Minnesota in the lead. Here's Ryder. Here's Marbury. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Good man. The defender really went after him. 15 foul. At the line for your Timberwolves. Stephon Marbury. Taking two shots.
First free throw is good. It's both from the stripe. Here's free. There's a minute 54 left to play in the first. Beyond the arc. And he buries his first look. Not just a knockdown shooter, he does a great job of finding space for his shot. Here's Marbury. Jacks up a three. Ryder good. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Here's Harper. There's a minute 17 left in the first quarter here. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. Kevin Love's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. So he hits both. A minute 15 left in the first quarter. Here's Marbury. Here's Ryder. Unloads. Rebounded by Kamen. Here's Harper. Here's Free. Jimmy Butler with a rebound. We all know he's a good shooter, but from that distance, uh, I don't think so. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space, but that does make it a tougher shot. Here's Ryder. Off the left rim and out. Here's McGetty. Step back shot. Over to the left wing. Here's Free. Fires in the triple. He's got 10. I like that approach, playing inside out, forcing the defense to scramble. Here's Marbury. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. And Minnesota leads by six. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for a shot. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. More 2K action in just a moment. Tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, let's quickly break down the game. What we've seen so far from the Timberwolves, guys. They are looking engaged so far, especially on offense. And that has helped them build an advantage here. Playing with good focus and good energy. So on the floor for the Clippers. To the middle. Here's Kamen. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. Pass to Love. Goes up on the baseline. No good. Off the front rim. The Clippers trail. Oh, there's the alley! Up high and down it goes on the lob. 
A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And it's Love missing. And the Clippers have possession. Pass to free. Fires for three. They get the rebound. Came in. And it's flushed down. What a nice jam. And now that's a momentum builder for sure. So important in a close game. Look at his teammates here. They love it. Plays like that going to get them going. They're bringing the energy, the hustle, the fight. And they also didn't give up on that possession. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. It's a neck and neck game here in Minneapolis. Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Pass to Love. To the right side. Six to shoot. Here's Marbury. Good work defensively by Leonard. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. With the fadeaway. And the Clippers again with a bucket. It's a shot we don't see a lot anymore. But Kawhi is an old school player. Still using that mid-range jumper. Here's Marbury. Seven points in the game. Love for three. Free grabs the board. Love's gone two of five tonight. Leonard outside. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Free. Up and in on the layup. 12 points for him. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Here's Ryder. Love the screen on Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution on the board. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Towns. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Here are the Clippers. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Outside Paul. With some arc, it's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Leonard's got four assists in the game. Chris Paul has such a gentle touch on his floaters. There's no way the defense can get to that shot. Here's Marbury. He's got seven. And the basket is good. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Paul passes to Leonard. Here's Brand. Griffin left side. Misses off the right iron. The Timberwolves trail. Inside. He sends it right off the glass. Pass to Paul. Now Leonard. Here's McAdoo. He's got six. And there's a pick. Leonard outside. Shot clock at six. To the left wing. And here's Griffin outside. Gets the three to fall. Griffin's got his second basket of the night. No hesitation from Blake on that catch and shoot jumper. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Shots good by Marbury. That lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring. Now here's Leonard. Tight defense on him. And he's been an ideal That's teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passing. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. Here's Marbury. Rebound by the Clippers. Down low. 
McAdoo again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. Great look by Blake Griffin. When your foreman has that ability to pass the basketball, it's a major advantage. Here's Marbury. He's guarded by Paul. Garnett, that's good. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Pass to Brand. Back to Leonard. Out left to the wing. Here's a three from Paul. Clippers keep it alive. Tries again. And he lays it up and in. Ball's got 13. So crafty down low. Chris has every shot in the book. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Coach is not happy with their effort on the defensive glass. They're giving up way too many second chance points. Here's Cassell. He's guarded by Paul. To the wing on the left. They set a pick. Shots good by Zerbiak. Give him eight. Excellent move to score the basketball despite a weak pick. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard outside. Tries a 10-footer. Towns with a rebound. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. They get it back. And the layup is good. Towns has got his first points of the night. And just crashes the glass with effort and intensity. I mean, how do you box a guy out like Towns? Griffin right side. They swipe it. Here's Garnett. He's guarded by Paul. Garnett no good. And out of bounds. Minnesota will have it. Harper, he's checked in for Leonard. Here's Zerbiak. Give him eight. There's a the screen. Here's Cassell. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul. Team. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for Los Angeles. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And, of course, taking it inside, always a great game plan. And I'm curious if there'll be an adjustment from the defensive end. Maybe sag off some shooters a little. And he knocks down the first one. So he makes both from the line. And here's Paul. 13 points in the game. Pass to Harper. Here's Brand. Right wing. McAdoo. The offensive rebound. He's off on the layup. They've got a shot at taking back the lead here. Yes, they do. Could be the opening they've been waiting for. Here's Garnett. Here's Cassell. 17 points in the game. Five on the clock. Pass to Zerbiak. From the high post. No good there. And the Clippers will come the other way. Griffin outside. Now here's Paul. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Here's Harper. And the Clippers miss again. Here's Garnett. Pass to Cassell. Oh, no 
good. Had a chance to take the lead. Now the Clippers with it. Here's Harper to the paint. And Griffin gets it to go. Griffin's got five points in the quarter. And as much as Griffin has worked on his perimeter game, this is where he makes his money, in the painted area. They set the screen. Pass to Garnett. Got a piece of it. Griffin against Towns. Griffin passes to Paul. Here's McAdoo. And that's good for two as he grabs the feed. He's got 12. Wonderful find by Paul. This offense relies on him to make those kind of plays. Here's Cassell. He's guarded by Paul. Pulls it from the top of the key. Rebound by the Clippers. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Knocks down the long J. And now it's an eight-point Clipper lead. And they're building up steam, getting out in front, and trying not to look back. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. Here's Zerbiak. Give him eight. Looking to end the run. And it's good on the lay-in. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Pass to Griffin. Here's Garnett. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. But the truth is, those type of plays are going to happen. You just have to regroup mentally and get back to work. Here's Paul after the Timberwolves picking up a basket a moment ago. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Cassell. Here's Zerbiak. Here's Towns. Not going to go that time. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now here's Paul. He's guarded closely. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Griffin slams it in. I mean, on those alley-oop plays from Blake Griffin, you can't give him room to take off. Out to the wing. Here's Garnett. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. Back to the game after this break. through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. And the Clippers have possession. Six-point lead. Pass to Leonard. Love with the defensive effort. And here's Minnesota now. And for Los Angeles. Here's Zerbiak. Here's Cassell. They set a pick. Down to five on the shot clock. Garnett. Ooh, went in there strong and tried to power it down. But he drew the contact and he'll head to the line. <laughs> nice job to go at the rack and force the foul. Two shots. Shooting two.
And the first one at the line is good. Good on the second, so he makes them both. The Clippers in the lead. Paul passes to Leonard. Pulls up at the elbow. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got his third assist of the night. Boy, in the paint, Kawhi Tan right through the D. Just pushing his way to a shot. Here's Zerbiak. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Outside Paul. Screen by Griffin. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Kevin Love. <laughs> the trickery of Paul. He's unpredictable. It is what gets defenders to be overly aggressive. Chris Paul. At the line for two. That's good from Paul. An experienced veteran in this league, Chris Paul offers valuable insight both on and off the floor. hits them both right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter here's Cassell he's guarded by Paul love the screen on Paul here's Cassell he's got 17 no good now here's Paul Oh, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Paul's got 20. Always great to see Paul dialed in on offense, really making an effort to lift his team. Love a screen on Paul. Here's Cassell. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. second. Second team foul. At the line for Minnesota. Sam Cassell. One shot. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Now here's Leonard. Six points for him. Here's Griffin. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. The Timberwolves trail. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. It's hauled in by the Clippers. They've led by as much as 10. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Here's Cassell. 20 points for him. Love, a screen on Paul. Pass to Zerbiak. Connects from downtown. 13 points in the game. And that's a defensive lapse. A shooter of his caliber can't be left wide open. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over.
it up, and Griffin slams it in. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Here's Garnett. Give him eight points now. Leonard outside. Let's it go from 14. Love grabs the miss. Love's got rebound number eight now. Here's Cassell. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Pass to Paul. Drives to the hoop. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And as a defender trying to stop the drive, Chris Paul shifts gears so well, it's hard to beat him to the spot. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. them both. Here's Brandon. Driving inside. Two points. That one goes. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Pass to Nader. Here's Brand. Outside Paul. They set the pick. From deep. And again, no good by the Clippers. And here's Minnesota now. They trail by six. And that one's good. And the Clippers have possession. Pass to Nader. Back to Paul. Here's Nader. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. That's what DeAndre is out there to do. Dropping the hammer is his specialty. Now Love. Hey, yo, right here. Here's Brandon. There's a screen by Love. Shot clock at five. Over Leonard. And it's Love missing. Now the Clippers with it. They've led by as much as 10. Outside Paul. Pass to Nader. And the layup is good off the glass. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Here's Brandon. Right side, Love. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The defender out of position to contest their good read by Love. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. They are dominating the paint in this one. Break. Consistent work inside throughout the game. And also, I just love how they've been moving the ball side to side on the perimeter. Great passing unlocking their offensive potential. And that one misses. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Butler's checked in. He's good on the second. The Clippers in the lead. Here's Nixon. And the first shot of the night for him. Missing. Pass to Brandon. Oh, 
they pick off the pass. To the inside. Spaghetti. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on Jimmy Butler. Shooting for a leg. Corey McGinney at the line for two. good on that one. And he sinks the second. The Timberwolves trail. Here's Brandon. Pass to Love. Here's Brandon. Back to Love. And that one's good. Brandon. Six points for him. Look at the unselfishness by Kevin Love. Doesn't have what he wants. Finds a wide open teammate. Here's McGetty. Here's the pick. Just five to shoot. Hit the drive. The three is up. Rebounded by West. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Pass to Butler from the arc. And another three for Minnesota. Great way to create driving lanes, which is what Butler wants to do. Here's free. He's got 12. And good whistle there. Two shots. First one falls. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for the Timberwolves. Good on both. Here's Brandon. He has six. Pass to Towns. Over Jordan. The shot by Towns. No good. Good idea with the fadeaway. But the defense was just all over it. Here's Nixon. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. And the Clippers miss again. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Brandon. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Here's Free. He's got 14. Uses the glass to finish the layup. 16 points for him. He can do incredible things. He can also help you win by simply being reliable. Pass to Towns. And it's Towns with the power finish. Woo, the whole arena felt that. Towns could just be merciless on offense. Here's Nixon. Here's Free. To the paint. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Shooting for play. Sven Leader. One shot. Timberwolves. 
Here's West. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Garnett. And that one's long. And here are the Clippers now. Eight-point game. Here's Nixon. Pass to free. Here's McGetty. Covered by Rubio. 11 feet out. It's hauled in by Garnett. Rubio with the ball. And he's going for the oop here. And an emphatic jam on the lob. I think this is Rubio's greatest trait. I love to watch him move the basketball, and so does his coaching staff. Here's Free. 16 points for him. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. Shooting play will be free at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And the Clippers making a change here. Second free throw, no good. Now the Timberwolves with it. They trail by seven. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. And out of bounds, Los Angeles will have it. One fifty-seven left to play in the third. Pass to Cayman. Here's free. On the take. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. At the line for Minnesota, Kevin Garnett. Find the lane. Shooting. Find the lane. One. One shot. And here are the Clippers now. Six point lead. They set the pick. Pass to Manning. Here's free. 119 left in the third quarter. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Taking two shots. He makes a first. He's perfect from the line this time. There's a minute 12 left in the third quarter. And there's a pick. And he drives in. Pass to Garnett. Towns up top. Towns on a screen. Six on the shot clock. Here's Rubio. And another three for Minnesota. Usually on the front end of the catch and fire. Rubio on the finishing end right there. 
There's 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Manning. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. One sign of a great playmaker, hitting his man in stride. Outside Rubio. Pass to Towns. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Towns. Off on the timing, or it may have been a miscommunication. Either way, turnover. The Clippers in the lead. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Kamen. Here's Harper. Here's Free. Covered by Rubio. Screen by Griffin. Here's Free. It's hauled in by Garnett. Rubio with the ball. And he lobs it up top. alley up top. Hammer it home. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Yeah, absolutely jaw-dropping. And we've watched three so far in this one. Slippers ahead, up five. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Here's Cassell. Griffin pulls down the board. Griffin's got six rebounds now in the game. And for Los Angeles... Buckets. He's now six of ten from the field. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. And for Minnesota. Pass to Love. Here's Cassell. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 22 points for him. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. Oh, there's the alley. Throw it down on the lob. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Pass to Cassell. Clock at six. Here's Love. And Minnesota again with a bucket. You know, some big guys look a little off balance operating from the mid range. Love is rock solid. Leonard outside. Down low. McAdoo. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. 18 feet out. And it's Love missing. Love's gone three of eight shooting from the floor. Over to the wing. To the middle. Pass to Leonard. Blocked! Out of bounds. The Clippers will keep possession. The Clippers making a switch here. Paul's checked in. Paul. the fourth quarter here just under two and a half minutes gone by three-pointer the shot no good and Minnesota will come the other way and out of bounds the Clippers will take it
Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulations. Timeout called. The Clippers. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, guys. The head coach of the Clippers had some words for his team over the break. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. Appreciate the report, Allie. Back to Griffin. Outside Paul. Five to shoot. That one's wide left. The Timberwolves trail. Inside. Here's Garnett. Pass to Gugliotta. Down low. Here's Cassell. And at last, they get one to fall. He's got 24. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Whoa, a drive like that is the kind of play that can shift the entire outcome of a close game like this one. Here's Brand. Outside Paul. And the dunk by Leonard. And boy, Kawhi is the perfect target. The big reach gets to the pass and the great hands on the catch. Pass to Garnett. Now Love. Here's Cassell. Here's Garnett. The Clippers grab the miss. Griffin's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now Paul. Leonard outside. Takes the three. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. And now a 10-point Clipper lead. Looking at his percentages over the years, Kawhi is an elite three-point shooter. I think Leonard deserves more credit for that. Pass to Cassell. Here's Zerbiak. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. First team foul. Outside love. From outside the arc. Sinks the tray. One of the best catch and shooting big men we've ever seen. Kevin Love. Now Los Angeles with it. Seven point differential. Leonard for three. It's hauled in by Garnett. Leonard's gone just one for four from deep. Pass to Cassell. Throws it up high. The pass. The catch. The slam. What a clean play. And absolutely jaw-dropping. Ball passes to Leonard. Here's Brand. To the left side wing. Here's Griffin. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on Kevin Love. He doesn't let you off the hook, Blake Griffin. He likes to draw contact, and usually gets to the free throw line. Griffin. Two shots. down the first one you know when healthy Blake Griffin is still a force he's an athletic multifaceted big man and so he hits both here's Garnett Oh, they get a hand on it. Pass to Cassell. Here's Gugliotta. To the paint. Here's McAdoo. Griffin, left side. He can't get that one to fall. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Here's Cassell. 
Pass to Zerbiak. He takes it in. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. Ball passes to Leonard. Here's Brand. Griffin right side. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. When you put a smaller player on Blake, he has the ability to drive it, draw contact, and get to the free throw line. Blake Griffin at the line for two. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Zerbiak. Pass to Cassell. And there's the screen. Shoots it from the high post. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Leonard's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Griffin. Yes! And it's Leonard with the assist that time. Assisted. Leonard's got nine assists now tonight. It's a rough way to make a living, but somebody has to do it. Blake Griffin absorbing a lot of contact in the painted area. Drills it from deep. And coming down the stretch, both teams still playing fantastic offense. Yes, and if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. Now here's Leonard. He's covered closely. And that one's good. Brand. Beautiful executed play. Kawhi Leonard makes the right read. Willing and dealing. Here's Zerbiak. Pass to Garnett. Here's Cassell. Shot clock at six. 18 feet out. Griffin pulls down the board. Griffin's got rebound number eight now. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Drops the first. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Zerbiak. Pass to Cassell. The Clippers grab the miss. Miss opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Leonard outside. Griffin with it. Lays it up and banks it in. Griffin's got 21. On the attack all evening. Not sure at this point what can slow Blake Griffin down. Now a timeout called by Minnesota.
And so it's Minnesota with it. Down by 12. Offensive rebound to the left wing. There's a screen. Here's Zerbiak. Pass to Garnett. Four on the clock. The fader. It's hauled in by Brand. Now here's Paul. And he lobs it up. And Griffin slams it in. Go through Blake Griffin. He is rolling. That's a nice shot. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Gugliotta. Here's Zerbiak. Trying to get back on track. He can't get it to go. Outside Paul. Leonard on the wing. Here's Brand. And a miss there on the triple. And so it's Minnesota with it. It's a 14-point game. To the inside. Everyone loves the alley play, B.A. Yeah, one of the prettiest in basketball. On offense, here are the Clippers. Leonard, left side. And the dunk by Leonard. Finishing that possession with an exclamation mark. Kawhi making his presence felt. 149 left in the fourth quarter. Paul passes to Leonard. Here's Brand. Timberwolves foul. Tom Gugliano. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. And so here are the Clippers. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. Six to shoot. Outside Paul from deep. Minnesota with a rebound. Love's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Zerbiak. Leonard defending. Cassell. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Paul with the bucket. Paul. Gotta love how they've just maintained their intensity, even when they're this far up. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Darn it. That's good. Effort play, pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. Outside Paul. 40 seconds left in the fourth. Six on the shot clock. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Clippers. Blake Griffin. Two shots. First one falls for him. And it's a completely new group for the Timberwolves. And that's good as he hits both shots. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Outside Rubio. Towns down low. No good. A bit long that time. And at this point, they're loving this big lead. Absolutely. And they haven't really faced a lot of resistance. Here's Free. Free. 
So no problem for the Clippers as they get the win. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. And that about wraps it up. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. Now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game.